guys! My name is Abdurrahman Sadiqi, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher and Google Certified Educator. With a lot of schools transitioning towards using Google Classroom for online learning now, some parents are asking, well, how do I know what's going on? That's where Google actually comes in. Google Classroom, being an online tool for learning, actually has features in place for parents to get constant updates on their child's performance. The only tricky part is that this requires collaboration on part of both the parent and the teacher, because the teacher has to enroll the parent in status updates and the parent has to accept the status updates and keep track. Therefore, this tutorial is aimed at both teachers and parents. It will show teachers how to enroll parents and it will show parents how to accept that enrollment. Quick note, on my channel there's a ton of tutorials for students and teachers for online learning. If that appeals to your interest, consider subscribing. Now, let's get over to the Google Classroom tutorial for parents right now. Begin by going to google.com and entering classroom as a teacher. Select the class where you want your parents to get status updates. Go to the People tab in the classroom, and if you notice, next to each student's name, there is a button for Invite Guardians. Invite your student's guardian by entering their email and clicking Invite. It's going to ask if you want to add Class to Guardian email summaries. For all students, go ahead and add it. Once again, go ahead and invite the guardians for all your students. This may seem cumbersome, but it is a one-time requirement. Now that parents have been invited, they have to accept the enrollment. So to remind them, click on the term Email All Guardians. It will automatically open up to your Gmail, and at that point you can inform parents to check the previous email for enrollment in the status updates. Once the email is sent, parents will have both an invitation and a reminder to enroll in the status updates for Google Classroom. So let's see how the parent would see this. For the parent, begin by going to your email that you have provided to your school. Upon signing in, you will notice the message that the teacher sent, if they chose to send one, and below it is going to be the actual email, which says, get Google Classroom email summaries for your child. My child's name is Sample. It will tell you the teacher has invited you as a guardian in Google Classroom and give you a gigantic accept button. Notice how it says you don't need a Gmail or Google account to accept this. You are simply sharing your email with the teacher. Click Accept, and your classroom invitation has been accepted. You will now receive weekly email summaries on what is happening in the child's classroom. In order to change the preferences, sign in to the email that is your Google email. Once you're signed in, it will take you to the Google Classroom Email Summaries page where it will let you select what level of summaries you want for your child. Weekly, daily, or no summaries at all. It's also going to let you select the time zone so that you get emails when you think they're appropriate, meaning the afternoon and weekly summaries are sent on Friday afternoon. If you have multiple children, you can choose to drop whichever one you need from the summaries. Notice back on the teacher's end, the student whose parent accepted no longer states invited because their guardian is now available. And notice all the actual classroom things that are there. But when the teacher emails you now, they can choose to email just the student, the guardians, or the student and the guardians. And Upon typing the message, they can always say include the work summary. This first summary is being sent by the teacher, but the subsequent summaries will of course be automated. 
go ahead and click send. Now, back on the parent's end, once again, the parent actually sees a new summary. At the top is the little message that the teacher left, and at the bottom is the summary. So we see the scores, we see what has been assigned but not given, and we see what is missing or what has a poor grade. So these are all things that the teacher should be followed up with by the parent. And that is beginning to end how teachers can invite their parents. And if you ever feel the need to contact parents on the go, select all students and hit email to establish contact via your Gmail. So that's it. A relatively straightforward process for both teachers and parents in order to stay in touch with each other through online learning. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And as always, if this appeals to your interest, consider subscribing. This is Pakistani Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day.